When I was learning to become a pediatrician during residency, I lived in New Orleans, Louisiana. I will never forget. One particular long August weekend, I decided to take a trip to Chicago. While I was in Chicago, Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans. Hurricane Katrina was a devastating natural disaster. I watched on TV as my city flooded. People were stranded all over the city without food or water. It was surreal. In the next few days and months, many New Orleans residents lost everything. As for me, I could not return to New Orleans. The airport was closed to incoming flights. My weekend with friends turned into a week-long refuge from the storm. When I could no longer remain with those friends, I lived with family. Then, I lived with complete strangers as I tried to finish my residency to become a practicing pediatrician. I wasn't able to return to New Orleans for months. This was such a stressful time in my life. But, thanks to a lot of support, I made it through and I became a practicing pediatrician. Now, I live in coastal North Carolina. I am still very uneasy about climate disasters like big hurricanes. I know a lot of people, especially teens, feel the same. A study of 10,000 young people around the world found 59% were very worried about climate change. And those feelings are justified. Climate change affects young people the most. So, what do you do with those feelings? First, learn about what's going on. But be careful. Don't go down a rabbit hole. You want to avoid consuming too much social media about climate change. It can make your anxiety worse. It's better to connect with other people. Talk with friends about it. Attend a climate cafe or hear more ideas. You can channel your feelings into action. Not everyone needs to become a world famous climate activist like Greta Thunberg, but every little bit helps. You can join your school's climate action club or start one of your own. Make a plan for extreme weather. This can mean different things depending on where you live. It could be an evacuation plan in case of a storm or planning for how your family will cope with extreme heat or bad air quality from things like wildfires. Talk with your family about what you'll do. Being prepared can make you feel better. If, like me, you are affected by a climate disaster, I'm sorry. Experiences like this stick with you. Please find someone you can talk with about it. It takes time to heal from big, scary events, so give yourself time and try to lean on a support network, friends, family, community, and institutions that can help. You deserve it. If your anxiety doesn't seem manageable, tell someone. Asking for help is a sign of strength. Climate anxiety is real and it can be serious. These days, mental health professionals are trained to help you deal with it. Climate change isn't going away anytime soon. But there is a lot we can do about it. Focusing on solutions and working together to help us deal with our anxiety while also helping drive change. And that will reduce the effects of climate change on everybody. Please like and subscribe to help this video reach even more people. And check out the description below for tips on dealing with climate anxiety and more actions you can take to fight climate change.